This is going to be an HTML CSS tutorial on how to create a responsive three column picture layout. Let me jump over to my web browser and show you what I'm talking about. This right here is what I'll be creating. Uh, pretty basic and simple. It's a uh, three columns of pictures and if I downsize it, it is responsive. If I downsize it, they just stack on top of each other. And it, these pictures are clickable also. If I click on them, I'm going to click on this first picture here. It goes to full screen. I'll click on the second one here. Let me jump over to my desktop here. Okay, on my desktop, I'm going to create a folder here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go down to New, Over to, over to Folder. I'm just going to name it Test. I'm going to hit Enter. Now I'm going to double click on that folder to open it. And inside of that folder, I'm going to create two more folders. I'm going to create a folder called CSS and a folder called Images. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go down to New, Folder. I'm going to call this one CSS, all lowercase. I'm going to hit Enter. Now I'm going to create another folder. Go down to New, over to Folder. And I'm going to call this Images. I'm going to hit Enter. And now I'm going to import some pictures that I have in another folder right here. You could use any pictures, but you want them to be basically the same size. These pictures I have here are 1080, 1920 by 1080. You could use, uh, it doesn't matter what their size is, you just want it to be, you want them to basically be the same size. I'm going to take three of these. I'm going to drag them over and drop them in the images folder. I'm going to close that folder. Now if I double click on my images folder in the folder that I just created, there's my images. Let me jump over to VS Code here. Okay, I've got VS Code opened up here and I'm going to locate that folder that I just created named Test. I'm going to go up to File, down to Open Folder, and then I'm going to locate that folder that I named Test. It's right here. I'm going to select it. I'm going to click on Select Folder. Now I'm going to create an HTML file and a CSS file. I'll create my HTML first. I'll go up to File, down to New File. Now I'm going to save this as an HTML file. I'll go back to File, down to Save As, and I'm going to name it index.html. And then I will click on Save. Now I'll create my HTML boilerplate. I'm going to make an exclamation point, and then you can either click on the wrench or hit the tab key, top wrench or the tab key. Now I'm going to create my CSS file. I'll go back up to File, New File. Now I'm going to save it as a CSS file. I'm going to go back up to File, down to Save As, and I'll call it style.css. All lowercase. And before I hit Save, I'm going to double click on the CSS folder because I want to put it in the CSS folder. I'm going to double click on that. Then I'll click on save. So now if I look at my folder, I've got my HTML file there and I have my two folders that I created, my images and my CSS. If I double click on my CSS folder, there is my CSS file. Now I need to connect my HTML and my CSS file. I'm going to go back to my index.html file and just above the title tags, I'm going to put my cursor down here at the end of the line, just above the title. I'm going to hit enter, and I'm going to type link. Then I'm going to click on the wrench that says link colon CSS. Now the only thing I need to do, I need to change one thing. It has the name of my CSS file right here, the exact name style.css but I have my CSS file in a folder named CSS, so I'm going to put my cursor right at the beginning of that S on style, 
I'm going to type CSS forward slash. If I put my cursor over the style.css, that follow link will appear above it. I'm going to click on the follow link and it'll take me to my CSS file. So it is connected properly. Now I'm going to go up to file and I'm going to save both these files. I'm going to click on save all because I want to save my index, my HTML file and my CSS file. Save all. Now I'm going to close my little sidebar over here. Uh, you could leave yours open, but I'm going to close mine just to give myself a little bit, bit more room here. I'm going to click on the Explorer icon here to close it. And I'm going to go back to my HTML file. Okay, I'm going to start off between my opening and closing body tags. I'm going to put my cursor in there. And I'm going to create an H1. And between my opening and closing H1 tags, I'm going to put some text. I'm going to write how to create a responsive three-picture column layout. How I'm going to put my cursor after the end of that closing h1 tag I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to create a div I'm going to hit enter to separate my opening and closing div tags and on that opening div tag I'm going to put my cursor right after the V I'm going to make a space and I'm going to give it a class class equals double quotations and I'm going to call it row now I'm going to put my cursor at the end of that opening div tag, I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to create another div. I'm going to hit enter to separate my opening and closing divs. I'm going to put my, uh, I'm going to give this opening div tag a class also. I'm going to put my cursor right past the V. I'm going to make a space. I'm going to give it a class. Class equals double quotations. And I'm going to call this one all columns all capital C columns. Now I'm going to put my cursor at the end of that opening div tag and I'm going to hit enter to go down to the next line and I'm going to create an anchor tag. Now in this opening anchor tag I'm going to put my cursor right after the A. I'm going to make a space and I'm going to create an href. href equals double quotations and here I'm going to locate my uh, image that I'm going to use. My image is in a folder named images so I'm going to type images forward slash and I'm just going to select one of my folders here. It's uh, VS Code is looking in my images folder and presenting me with the uh, pictures that I have in that folder. I'm just going to select one of those now I'm going to put my cursor between my opening and closing anchor tags and I'm going to hit enter just to go down to the next line and I'm going to create an image tag. I'm going to make a space, src, my source, equals, double quotations, and I'm once again going to call on that same uh, picture folder, images forward slash and I'm going to select the same picture that I used for the uh, upper one. And then I'm going to put my cursor after that last double quotation there. I'm going to make a space and I'm going to give it uh, some alt text. ALT equals double quotations. And I'm just going to call it uh, Night City. Then I'm going to put my cursor after that double quotation, last double quotation. I'm going to make a space, style equals double quotations. I'm going to give it a width of 100%. Width colon 100%. Now I'm going to put my cursor 
outside of that last double quotation there and I'm going to close my image tag. Now to make this simpler, I'm going to start at this uh, all columns div right here and I'm going to go down not to the last div but the second to last div here. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to copy. Now I'm going to put my cursor at the end of that uh, second to last div tag. I'm going to hit enter twice and I'm going to do control V to paste. Now I'm going to do the same thing down here. I'm going to hit enter twice and I'm going to do control V to paste. So now I have three of these divs here with pictures in it. I need to change my pictures here in the second div. I'm going to put my cursor right before the last double quotations. I'm going to back up to where it says images. I'm going to do my forward slash and then I'm going to select a different picture. I'm going to use the second picture here, busy street. Now I'm going to do the same thing right below it. I'm going to put my cursor right before the, sec the last double quotation. I'm going to back up to where the S is. I'm going to do my fo forward slash and I'm going to select that same picture, uh, Busy Street. Now I'm going to do the same thing on these last two pictures here. I'm going to put my cursor right before the end, the last double quotation. I'm going to back up and then I'm going to select my last picture, Night City. I'm going to do the same thing for the one below it. Now I'm going to go up to File and down to Save. Now I'm going to jump over to my CSS file. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to start off by making the star sign, which is under the number 8 on the keyboard, the star, to select all of my elements. I'm going to make a space, curly brackets. I'm going to hit Enter to separate my curly brackets. And I'm going to give this a box sizing border box. Box sizing border box. Now I'm going to put my cursor at the end of that last curly bracket. I'm going to hit enter twice and I'm going to call on my all columns class. I'm going to do a period all capital C columns make a space then my curly brackets whoops I'm going to hit enter to separate my curly brackets and I want these I want to float left float colon space left semicolon I'm going to hit enter to go down to the next line and I want these to have there's going to be three of them so I want it to have a width of 33.33 percent so I'm going to do width colon 33.33 percent semicolon make sure you've got a semicolon on every line I'm going to hit enter to go down to the next line and I'm going to give this, I'm going to give uh, my pictures a padding of uh, 10 pixels. Padding, colon, oops, 10 pixels, semicolon. Now I'm going to put my cursor at the end of that last curly bracket there. I'm going to hit enter twice. And I want to do a clear fix here. I'm going to do, I'm going to call on my rows class, my row class, period, row, colon, colon, after, space, my curly brackets. I'm going to hit enter to separate my curly brackets. Content, colon, space, double quotations, and I'm going to put I'm going to put a semicolon there. I'm just going to close that off. I'm going to hit enter to go down to the next line and I want this to clear both. Clear colon space both semicolon. I'm going to hit enter. I want this to display table. Display colon table semicolon. And now for this to be responsive on a smaller screen size you probably want your pictures to stack on top of each other rather than to be completely squished. I'm going to put my cursor 
at the end of that last curly bracket I'm going to hit enter twice and I'm going to do an at sign media space screen space and space and then some uh, parentheses and in those parentheses I'm going to do math, max width colon space 768 pixels 768 pixels 768 is uh, kind of common for tablet size now I'm going to put my cursor at the end of that last parentheses I'm going to make a space I'm going to do my curly brackets I'm going to hit enter to separate the curly brackets and in here I'm going to call on my all columns class I'm going to do a period all capital C columns I'm gonna do a space and then some more curly brackets I'm gonna hit enter to separate my curly brackets and I'm gonna give this a width of 100 percent width colon 100 percent semicolon and what this means is any screen size that's 768 or below the width of the pictures will go 100%. They will stack on each other. Now I'm going to go up to File, down to Save All, make sure everything's saved. And then I'm going to go back to my test folder where I have my website. Oops, that's not it. Right here it is. I'm going to double click on my index.html file to open the website I just created. And there is my row of pictures there. If I click on one of them, it expands to full screen and if I downsize my browser they stack on top of each other now that's just one row there but you can add as many rows as what you want on this first uh, my original website that I created, you can see I have three rows. You could add as many rows as you want. And the way that you add the rows is pretty simple. I'll take a little shortcut here to show you. Let me open VS Code back up. I'll go back to the index.html file. And I am going to start at the, uh, the opening div tag that has a class of row. I will start there and I'll go all the way down to the last div tag. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to copy. I'm going to put my cursor at the end of that last div tag there. I'm going to hit enter twice and I'm going to do a control V. Now I'll go back up to file, down to save, back over to my website. I'll hit refresh and there's two rows of the pictures. You would of course change your pictures and you do want your pictures to be basically the same size. Like I said, the pictures I'm using here are all 1920 by 1080, but you could use 1080 by 720 or as long as they're the same size. You want them to be the same size. But that is how you do a responsive three-picture column layout. Thanks for watching and let me know if this helped you at all.